Once upon a time, there was a girl who fell off his butt. He rolled and rolled away until he came to a dump where there was some toxic waste. The toxic waste made him have a mouth, two eyes, and a nose. And ears so he could hear. He heard about paradise. Well, yeah, heard about paradise. So he wanted to find it. He thought and thought and thought. How will I ever get there? And then he started to roll. And he thought, rolling, that's it. I can roll and roll and roll to paradise. It won't be that hard. So, he rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls until he finally gets down to the bottom of the mountain where there are a bunch of streets and cars. The cars... The cars are going speeding fast. And... So he's scared, doesn't want to go anymore, destined to find paradise. So he rolls down there. So he rolls over the street and finally gets over. But there's another street. So the grape says, Ugh! How will I ever find paradise? There's a bunch of streets everywhere. But as last time, he was scared. But he does it anyway. He rolls over. This time, almost getting squished by a car. He says, Woof! That was a close one. And he keeps going. And going and going and going and going until he sees a house. So he thinks maybe this is paradise. And so he rolls into the house because there was a door open. And he finds a living room. And he's like, maybe this is paradise. I don't know. But He's just hanging out there, and then he sees a big animal with floppy, floppy ears. And so he wonders, oh, what's that? He looks at it some more. It has one tongue coming out of its mouth. Dripping slobbery, slaw, slobbery, slobbery, wetness all over. He looks around its neck, and there's collar. It says, Poochons, 243 Diane Road. If you find, call 208 406 And he thinks, is this creature going to eat me? Right as he thought that, he saw the creature's the big, long, sloppy tongue come down and lick him. He gets so frightened, he stops. And he looks up. And figures out what it is. It was a dog! Now he was really scared because he knew the dog was going to eat him. So he rolls away and the dog follows. He says, stop following me you dog! But the dog doesn't listen. So he keeps rolling away until he gets into the kitchen where there's a huge person. Ginormous. And she says to the dog, Poochums, stop running in the house, or you'll go outside. 
So Poochums is sad. And so the grape is happy because Poochums, the dog, is now in trouble. So he has more time to enjoy paradise. So he goes back to the living room. But then he hears noise. So he goes that way. And there are stairs. So he rolls down them. Bumpy ride, by the way. And he sees this big box with a screen in it. And it has people on it. And the people are saying stuff and playing. And so he looks at the big box and notices that there's a flashing light under it and two big antennas on the top of it. He doesn't know what this is, but now he's thinking, maybe this place is paradise. So he looks, he keeps looking. And then another person comes in, not as quite as big as the other one, but big. So, big. He thinks he's got to at least be six feet tall or bigger. And so, he keeps, he just watches the big box. The screen of it and thinks that maybe the person won't see him but he almost gets stepped on but he had to roll away so that he wouldn't step so that the person wouldn't step on him he sees a door so he rolls through that and he says this is not paradise can't be and so, he wanted to keep going and find it. So he did. He kept going and going and going and going and going. Until he found three more houses. And then he saw five more. And then six more. And then he saw, way in the distance, a big, tall building. And so, he starts rolling that way. Because paradise might be there, he thinks. And so he says, I'll keep going and I'll find paradise. So, he keeps going. But while he's keep going, he hears a rush, rustle in the bushes. And then... He sees two big antlers and walks out a ginormous buffalo. Well, that's what he thought, of course. So, he's scared because he thinks that there's a ginormous buffalo standing right there. So, he just rolls slowly. And slowly and slowly and slowly till he gets past it and so he keeps rolling but it saw but the buffalo quote unquote um saw it rolling and ran after it so he went speedy quick and thought uh oh this buffalo it's going to eat me. I need to roll faster. So he does. And he finally gets away from it. But then he sees a lot more. And they see him rolling. So he rolls away from them. And they see him. And start chasing him. He finally gets to a house. And he rolls in. So that the buffaloes can't get to him. He's in there, and the buffaloes walk away. He thinks, whoo, that was a close one. And he says, I could have been eaten. So he just rolls out, and then keeps going.
until a huge ginormous push person comes out of a house and gets in their car and drives it and they're going the same exact direction that the grape is going and the grape is in the same path that it's going and it starts going super fast so he is scared so he rolls faster but the car keeps chasing him and chasing him and he finally gets fast enough to get away and go off to the side so the car rolls by and he's scared again he was scared the whole time so he keeps rolling because he needs to get to paradise so he keeps going he finally gets to a big city and he sees the big tower he rolls to the big tower but while he's rolling, a bunch of people are walking by. And ten people almost step on him. So he just rolls straight into the door. But the door at the building, one of those rooms, have like four individual things and spin. So he needed to spin fast enough to actually get the door to move so he can go in. So he keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and goes super fast. So the door swings and he finally gets in. And then there's this big metal box that he sees. And he's like, whoa. But to get to that big metal box like he wants to he needs to go past a bunch of people and there's a big desk that he needs to go through so he rolls it's easy to dodge the people because they're not really walking but the desk is an actual challenge he doesn't know how to get through he rolls, he rolls, trying to find opening. He finds a tiny crack. He tries to go through it, but it's too small. So he can't. The grape starts to cry because he just wants to find paradise. But he can't. Until he hits the... He rolls back and hits the desk, and a banana falls off of it. And the banana has ears, mouth, nose, and eyes. And he is scared because he didn't know there was another one like him. And she asks him what he's doing there, and he's and he's just like. Why are you here? And then she says, well, I'm trying to find paradise. And the grape says, me too. So, him and the banana start, start using teamwork to get up on top of the desk. They finally get to the top. And they fall off again, going forward. And so they have to climb back up, which is harder because it's steeper. And so they're climbing it, and the grape can't hold on because his palm is so sweaty. And so, see, the banana helps him, and... He tells him to just hope and believe. So he does, and they get to the top. They finally get to the top, and then they roll off again because they go forward. And then they see the big metal box. So they go into it and press the button for 
and then they just fall down. And it goes up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And until they get to four. But they roll out of the big metal box, and they find a roof. And it has a perfect view of the sun, it has a sandbox, and it has lounge chairs and a pool. So they think this is paradise. And so they keep looking, looking, and they like it and they think it's actually paradise. And so they stay there. Two weeks later, they're just enjoying themselves, and then a person comes up, and they were just on the on a lounge chair because they're grapeing a banana, and the lounge chair of them would be huge, so. They see it, and another one follows that person. So they move, hoping the humans won't see them. But, once again, they were wrong. This, the hum <coughs> <coughs> humans saw them, and they saw the humans. They made it look like they were just normal. Food. And then one of the people say, Dude, looks like we got a free banana and grape. And they're scared. Because they're worried the people are going to eat them. So they both say, No! And roll away. So, they're scared. Still. And they don't know where the humans are. They're just glad they got away from the humans. But then they see a pigeon. They see the pigeon, and they're even more scared. And they know that if they roll back, the humans are going to eat them. And so they have no place to go. So a pigeon, it comes and grabs them, and it flies a long way to Hawaii or so, and they f and it drops them because they slip, and they land on a beach. They land on a beach in Maui. So now they're thinking. I hope this is paradise, and we won't get squashed by humans. And so, they stayed there for a long time. And humans haven't came to that place. So, they're happy. And they're just super happy. And then they know this is paradise. I guarantee it. The end.